Palestinian Cuisine, Wikipedia Article Audio Palestinian cuisine consists of foods from or commonly eaten by Palestinians which includes those living in Palestine, Jordan, refugee camps in nearby countries as well as by the Palestinian diaspora. The cuisine is a diffusion of the cultures of civilizations that settled in the region of Palestine, particularly during and after the Islamic era beginning with the Arab Umayyad conquest, then the eventual Persian influenced Abbasids and ending with the strong influences of Turkish cuisine, resulting from the coming of the Ottoman Turks. It is similar to other Levantine cuisines, including Lebanese, Syrian and Jordanian. History Regional Cuisines Galilee West Bank Gaza Types of Meals Rice Meals Stew Meals Bread Meals Mashi DIPs and Side Dishes Salads Sweets Snack Foods Meal Structure Dining Out Beverages Soft Drinks Coffee and Tea Liquor Holiday Cuisine Ramadan Holiday Sweets Cooking styles vary by region and each type of cooking style and the ingredients used are generally based on the climate and location of the particular region and on traditions. Rice and variations of kibbe are common in the Galilee. The West Bank engages primarily in heavier meals involving the use of tabun bread, rice, and meat and coastal plain inhabitants frequent fish, other seafood, and lentils. The Gaza cuisine is a variation of the Levant cuisine, but is more diverse in seafood and spices. Gaza's inhabitants heavily consume chili peppers too. Meals are usually eaten in the household but dining out has become prominent particularly during parties where light meals like salads, bread DIPs, and skewered meats are served. The area is also home to many desserts ranging from those made regularly and those that are commonly reserved for the holidays. Most Palestinian sweets are pastries filled with either sweetened cheeses, dates, or various nuts such as almonds, walnuts or pistachios. Beverages could also depend on holidays such as during Ramadan, where carob, tamarind, and apricot juices are consumed at sunset. Coffee is consumed throughout the day and liquor is not very prevalent among the population, however, some alcoholic beverages such as Iraq or beer are consumed by Christians and less conservative Muslims. The region of the southern Levant has a varied past and as such, its cuisine has contributions from various cultures. After the area was conquered by the Muslims, it became part of a Bilad al-Sham under the name Jund Philastin. Therefore, many aspects of Palestinian cuisine are similar to the cuisine of Syria especially in the Galilee. Modern Syrian Palestinian dishes have been generally influenced by the rule of three major Islamic groups, the Arabs, the Persian-influenced Arabs and the Turks. The Arabs that conquered Syria and Palestine initially had simple culinary traditions primarily based on the use of rice, lamb, yogurt, and dates. This cuisine did not advance for centuries until the rise of the Abbasid Caliphate, that established Baghdad as its capital and integrated elements of Persian cuisine into the existing Arab cuisine. The Arab geographer al muqaddasi said this of Palestine's foods. From Palestine comes olives, dried figs, raisins, the carob fruit, from Jerusalem comes cheeses and the celebrated raisins of the species known as inuni and duri, excellent apples, also pine nuts of the kind called karaj bite, 
and their equal is not found elsewhere, from sugar and bison come dates, the treacle called dibs. The cuisine of the Ottoman Empire which incorporated Palestine in 1516 was partially made up of what had become, by then a rich Arab cuisine. After the Crimean War, in 1855, many other communities including Bosnians, Greeks, French and Italians began settling in the area especially in urban centers such as Jerusalem, Jaffa and Bethlehem. These communities' cuisines contributed to the character of Palestinian cuisine, especially communities from the Balkans. Until around the 1950s to 60s, the main ingredients for rural Palestinian cuisine was olive oil, oregano, and bread baked in a simple oven called a tabun. Author G. Robinson Lees, writing in 1905, observed that the oven is not in the house, it has a building of its own, the joint property of several families whose duty is to keep it always hot. com slash details dot php id equals 481 and ed equals 42 and edid equals 42 Palestinian flavor There are three regions of Palestinian food, the Galilee, which is the northern part of the state of Israel the West Bank and Gaza Strip which are parts of land occupied by the Israelis during 1967 war from Jordan and Egypt accordingly. In the Galilee, bulgur and meat are primary ingredients that are often combined to form several variations of dishes ranging from a family-sized meal to a side dish. However, in the West Bank and the Gaza Strip, the populations have a cooking style of their own. In the West Bank, meals are particularly heavy in contrast from the foods of the Northern Levant. Main dishes involve rice, flatbreads, and roasted meats. The staple food of the inhabitants in the Gaza Strip is fish due to its location on the Mediterranean Sea coast. Their cuisine is similar to that of the Levant S, however, other spices are used more frequently. These generally include chili peppers, dill seed, garlic, and chard to flavor many of Gaza's meals. Although the cuisine is diverse, generally Palestinians are not restricted to the foods of their specific region and there is constant culinary diffusion amongst them. Although, because of Gaza's isolation from other Palestinian and Levantine Arab areas, their cooking styles are less known in the region. The cuisine of the Galilee is very similar to Lebanese cuisine, due to the extensive communication between the two regions before the establishment of Israel. The Galilee specializes in a number of meals based on the combination of bulgur, spices, and meat, known as kubai by Arabs. Kubai by Siniyi is a combination of minced lamb or beef mixed with pepper, allspice, and other spices wrapped in a bulgur crust, then baked. Kubai by Siniyi could serve as the main dish during a Palestinian lunch. Kubaini is a variation of kubai, that is served as raw meat mixed with bulgur and a variety of spices. It is mostly eaten as a side dish and pita or markuk bread is used for scooping the meat. Since the dish is raw, whatever is not eaten is cooked the next day in either the baked version or as fried kibbe balls. A special occasion meal in the Galilee consists of roasted lamb or any other type of meat complemented by a mixture of rice with chopped lamb and flavored with an assortment of spices usually garnished with chopped parsley and toasted nuts. Shish kebab or lam mishwi and shish duk are grilled meats on skewers and are commonly eaten after an array of appetizers known as the maza. The meza consists of a wide variety of appetizers, usually including hummus, baba ganuje, labana, tabbouleh, olives, and pickled vegetables. Akai cheese a semi-hard cheese common throughout the Middle East and among the Arab diaspora, originated in the city of Akka, from which the cheese receives its name. 
Musakan is a common main dish that originated in the Jinan and Tolkarm area in the northern West Bank. It consists of a roasted chicken over a tabon bread that has been topped with pieces of fried sweet onions, shumac, allspice, and pine nuts. Maklubba is an upside-down rice and baked eggplant casserole mixed with cooked cauliflowers, carrots, and chicken or lamb. The meal is known throughout the Levant but among Palestinians especially. It dates back to the 13th century. Mansuf is a traditional meal in the central West Bank and Nakab region in the southern West Bank, having its roots from the Bedouin population of ancient Arabia. It is mostly cooked on occasions such as, during holidays, weddings or a large gathering. Mansuf is cooked as a lamb leg or large pieces of lamb on top of a tabun bread that has usually been smothered with yellow rice. A type of thick and dried cheesecloth yogurt from goat's milk, called jamied, is poured on top of the lamb and rice to give it its distinct flavor and taste. The dish is also garnished with cooked pine nuts and almonds. The classic form of eating mansuf is using the right hand as a utensil. For politeness, participants in the feast tear pieces of meat to hand to the person next to them. In addition to meals, the West Bank's many subregions have their own fruit-based jams. In the Hebron area, the primary crops are grapes. Families living in the area harvest the grapes in the spring and summer to produce a variety of products ranging from raisins, jams and a molasses known as dibs. The Bethlehem area, Beit Jala in particular, and the village of Jifna are known regionally for their apricots and apricot jam as is the Tulkarm area for its olives and olive oil. The Gaza Strip's cooking style is similar to culinary styles adopted by the rest of the Levant countries, and is also influenced by the Mediterranean coast. The staple food for the majority of the inhabitants in the area is fish. Gaza has a major fishing industry and fish is often served either grilled or fried after being stuffed with cilantro, garlic, red peppers and cumin and marinated in a mix of coriander, red peppers, cumin, and chopped lemons. Besides fish, as well as other types of seafood, zibdi, is a clay pot dish that consists of shrimp baked in a stew of olive oil, garlic, hot peppers, and peeled tomatoes. Crabs are cooked and then stuffed with a red-hot pepper paste called shatta. A dish native to the Gaza area is sumagiyet, consisting of water-soaked ground shumac mixed with tahina. The mixture is added to sliced chard and pieces of stewed beef and garbanzo beans and additionally flavored with dill seeds, garlic, and hot peppers. It is often eaten cool with kubes. Rumaniya is prepared differently depending on the time of the year and is made up of unripened pomegranate seeds, eggplant, tahina, garlic, hot peppers and lentils. Fukurit adas is a slow-cooked lentil stew flavored with red pepper flakes, crushed dill seeds, garlic, and cumin. It is traditionally made during winter and early spring. Kidra is a rice dish named after the clay vessel and oven it is baked in. Rice is cooked with pieces of meat inside of the vessel, often using lamb, whole garlic cloves, garbanzo beans, cardamom pods, and various other spices such as, turmeric, cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg and cumin. Plain rice cooked in meat or chicken broth and flavored with mild spices including cinnamon is known as fate gaza i.e. yet. The rice is layered over a thin markup bread known as farashi, smothered in ghee and topped with stuffed chicken or lamb. The meal is eaten with green peppers and lemon sauce. Rice is the basic ingredient in ceremonial dishes and is a very important element of Palestinian meals. Rice dishes are usually the main dish of Palestinian dinner, 
because they consist of a variety of ingredients commonly found within the Palestinian land. Rice is usually not served alone or as a side dish, but rather it is incorporated within a larger dish or tabiq, that would include soups, vegetables, and meat. Meat is almost always present in Palestinian dishes. Mansaf is a very popular dish that is usually served during important events, such as a traditional wedding, engagement, funeral, baptism and circumcision. It is a dish incorporating all the elements of Palestinian land, such as bread, laban soup, rice, nuts, parsley, and lamb, making it an important cultural dish. The meal is oftentimes served the traditional way in a large common plate, a cider. The meal is usually eaten without the use of tableware, but rather each person sits beside each other eating from the same large plate. Makluba means upside down in Arabic, and it is a dish made with a meat, fried vegetables, and rice. The dish is cooked with the meat at the bottom of a large pot then layered with fried vegetables, such as potatoes, carrots, cauliflower, and eggplant. Rice is then added to the dish as it completes cooking. When served, makluba is flipped upside down with the meat now at the top, hence the name. Makluba is a popular dish, commonly served with salad and yogurt by Palestinians. Kuzi is a rich rice dish with chopped vegetables and roasted meat made in the tabun served with it. The dish is seen as comparatively simpler in its cooking than other Palestinian dishes, because it is cooked with basic rice and a meat served on top of it. The meal is served in a large cider, similar to mansaf, decorated with chopped parsley and pine nuts or chopped almonds. Another variant of this is the zarb which has bread dough instead of rice although this is due to the Jordanian influence in the region. Ruz malama is generally the only rice side dish in most Arab and Palestinian cooking, with simply cooked rice, spices, ground beef, and nuts. It is usually served with a full lamb, karouf, as the main dish. Stews are basic fare for everyday family cooking and are always served with vermicelli rice or plain rice. They are popular because they provide a wide range of nutrients from the meat, the vegetables, and the rice. The extra liquid is also essential in such dry climate. Stews are also economically beneficial, as they provide relatively small amount of meat into feeding large families especially within the poorer population. Mlukhiya is a stew made from korshoris. The korshoris is picked during harvest time, and is either frozen or dried. It is widely popular in the Middle East, as it is commonly grown in dry climate areas. The stew is cooked with lemon juice and water, and served with cut lemons and rice. The meal can be served with either chicken or lamb however it can be served without either. Adas is a healthy lentil soup, common in the Middle East. Unlike other parts of the Middle East, Palestinians do not incorporate yogurt or other ingredients into this soup. Rather, it is made with lentils and chopped onions and served with sliced onions and bread on the side. Palestinians bake a variety of different kinds of breads, they include kubes, pita, and markuk and tabun. Kubes is an everyday bread and is very similar to pita. It often takes the place of utensils, it is torn into bite-sized pieces and used to scoop various DIPs such as hummus or full. Markuk bread is a paper-thin unleavened bread and when unfolded it is almost transparent. Tabun receives its name from the ovens used to bake them. Musakan is a widely popular Palestinian dish composed of roasted chicken, with fried onions, shumac, allspice, saffron, and pine nuts atop one or more tabuns. 
The dish is usually eaten with the hands and served with cut lemon on the side. In April 2010, Palestinians were entered into the Guinness Book of World Records for largest moussakan dish. Palestinian cuisine also includes many small pizza-like foods, including manakash, sfaha, fatayir, sambuzak and ikras. Sfaha is a baked miniature flatbread, topped with lamb and cooked red peppers or tomatoes. Manakash is a baked flat bread, usually topped with za adder and olive oil. Sfaha are meat patties decorated with spices and peppers. Sambuzak and fatayir are baked or sometimes fried doughs stuffed with minced meat and cooked onions or snowbar. Fatayir is usually folded into triangles and unlike sambuzak, it could be filled with Arabic cheese or za adder. Ikras is similar to sambuzak and fatayir, by using dough stuffed with either meat or spinach, however they are not fried, and are usually served as a meal rather than meal addition or side dish. Sandwiches usually using markuk or kubes, such as shawarma and falafel are also common bread meals. Shawarma can be served as a sandwich or meal with shaved meat and bread. Shawarma can be chicken or beef, and is adorned with a variety of garnishes. These can include pickles, hummus, or a garlic yogurt mix. Falafel, fried chickpeas, parsley, and onion are fried into small patties and are adorned with similar toppings as shawarma. Fatter slash ifter is a term for breakfast, usually consists of fried eggs, olives, labana, olive oil, za adder, or jams. Hummus by tahini is also eaten primarily during this time the day, gada is a term for lunch usually late in the afternoon. Lunch is the heaviest meal of the day and main ingredients could include rice, lamb, chicken, cooked vegetables, and forms of mehashi. Ashruna derives from the word asra is a term for the consumption of a variety of fruits and legumes after gita. Asha is a term for supper, usually eaten any time from 8 to 10 p.m. Asha is simpler than geta and some foods consumed include fatayir, hummus by tahini, a variety of salads and a Levantine-style omelette called aji, high lows sometimes after or just before asha as well as when hosting guests come various sweets. Baklava is common and is usually purchased from pastry shops instead of made at home like muhalabi yet. Shea wa kawa tea and coffee are served in throughout the day in before, after and between fatter, gada, and asha. Mashi dishes are composed of rice-stuffed vegetables such as, eggplants, baby pumpkins, potatoes, carrots and marrows as well as a variety of leaf vegetables, primarily grape leaves, cabbage leaves, and less often chard. Mashi requires delicacy and time the main reason it is prepared before the day it is cooked and served. Many female family members participate in the rolling and stuffing of the vegetables, relaxing the amount of individual effort required, with great attention to detail. Warak Dawali, is a mashi meal reserved for large gatherings. The grape leaves are normally wrapped around minced meat, white rice, and diced tomatoes, however meat is not always used. Diwali is an excellent representation of the attention to detail commonly found in Palestinian and Levant cuisine, with each piece being tightly wrapped to the size of cigarette morsels. It is then cooked and served as dozens of rolls on a large plate usually accompanied by boiled potato slices carrots and lamb pieces. Kusamashi are zucchinis stuffed with the same ingredients as warak alinab and usually served alongside it heavy meals. If made with a large number of zucchinis as well as diwali it is known as warak alinab wa kusa. Bread dips and side dishes such as, hummus, baba ganesh, 
Mutabal and Labana are frequented during breakfast and dinner. Hummus is a staple in Palestinian side dishes, in particular in hummus by tahini, in which boiled, ground beans are mixed with tahini and sometimes lemon juice. Hummus is often slathered in olive oil and sometimes sprinkled with paprika, oregano, and pine nuts, the latter are especially popular in the West Bank. Chickpeas are also mixed with full, resulting in an entirely different dish, mukluda, with a distinct flavor and brownish color. Baba ganache is an eggplant or aubergine salad or dip with several variants. The root of all the variants is broiled and mashed eggplant and tahini lathered with olive oil, which can then be flavored with either garlic, onions, peppers, ground cumin seeds, mint, and parsley. Mutabal is one of the spicier variants that receives its zest from green chili peppers. Jibna Arabi or Jibna Bida is a white table cheese served with any of the above dishes. Akha'i cheese is a common variation of Jibna Bida. Akha'i cheese has a smoother texture and a mild salty taste. Labana is a pasty yogurt-like cream cheese either served on a plate with olive oil and za adder which is generally called Labana waza adder or in a kub sandwich. The most served Palestinian salad is a simple type known as salad at bandura, similar to Arab salad. It is composed of diced tomatoes and cucumbers combined with olive oil, parsley, lemon juice, and salt. Depending on the area of Palestine, the recipe may include scallions and garlic as well. Tabbouleh is a Mediterranean-style table salad originating in the Levant. The salad is made from parsley pieces, bulgur, diced tomatoes, cucumbers, and is sautéed with lemon juice and vinegar. In 2006, the largest bowl of tabbouleh in the world was prepared by Palestinian cooks in the West Bank city of Ramallah. Fatimish is a combination of toasted bread pieces and parsley with chopped cucumbers, radishes, tomatoes, and scallions and flavored by shumac. Daga is a gazan salad usually made in a clay bowl and is a mix of crushed tomatoes, garlic cloves, red hot peppers, chopped dill and olive oil. It's seasoned with lemon juice immediately before being served. Salada Arabi or Arab salad is a salad used with most meals. Romaine lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumbers are the main ingredients. Lettuce is cut into long strips, then chopped into thin strands, the tomatoes and cucumbers are chopped into cubes. Finely chopped parsley and mint give it a particular zest according to Chef Ali Klebo. A pinch of salt, the juice of a whole fresh lemon and several tablespoons of olive oil are used for final touch-ups. Palestinian desserts include baklava, halawa, and kanafi, as well as other semolina and wheat pastries. Baklava is a pastry made of thin sheets of unleavened flour dough, filled with pistachios and walnuts sweetened by honey. Burma til kadayif, or simply Burma, especially popular in East Jerusalem, has the same filling as baklava but is cylindrical in shape and made with kanafi dough instead of phyllo. Halawa is a block confection of sweetened sesame flour served in sliced pieces. Muhalabia is a rice pudding made with milk and topped with pistachios or almonds. Kanafi, a well-known dessert in the Arab world and Turkey. Made of several fine shreds of pastry noodles with honey-sweetened cheese in the center. The top layer of the pastry is usually dyed orange with food coloring and sprinkled with crushed pistachios. Nablus, to the present day is famed for its kanafi, partly due to its use of a white brined cheese called nabulsi after the city. Boiled sugar is used as a syrup for kanafi. 
It is common for Palestinian hosts to serve fresh and dried fruits, nuts, seeds, and dates to their guests. Roasted and salted watermelon, squash and sunflower seeds as well as, pistachios and cashews are common legumes. Watermelon seeds, known as Bazaar al and pumpkin seeds, known as Bazaar Abiyad are eaten regularly during various leisurely activities, playing cards, smoking argila, conversing with friends or before and after meals. Palestinian culture and life revolves around food in every aspect, whether it is an ordinary day or a special occasion such as a wedding or holiday. Meals are structured in a cyclical order by Palestinians and span into two main courses and several intermediate ones like coffee, fruits, and sweets as well as dinner. Like in most Arab cultures, meals are a time to spend with family and could last one two hours depending on the specific time of the day. Unlike other cultures, lunch is the primary course and breakfast and dinner are lighter in contents. Restaurants or Mata'im offer a brilliant array of cold appetizers known as the mezzi. Notably, hummus by tahini, mukluta, sometimes nearly a dozen variations of eggplant salad, tabbouleh, fatimish, chili pepper, and red cabbage salads and dishes made up by the chef are served. Kibbe balls and sfaha are the primary hot appetizers available. Heavy meals are rarely provided by restaurants, instead however, the entrees include shish kebab, shish duk, rack of lamb and chicken breasts. Falafel shops or mahal falafel offer mainly falafel and shawarma with several different contents. They also offer hummus or tabbouleh to be served with the meal. Coffee houses serve hot beverages and soft drinks and are usually restricted to male customers who take part in leisurely activities like playing cards or backgammon and smoking arjali. Sweet shops or mahal al hilayat can be found in the souks of cities and major towns. They offer a wide range of sweets common with Palestinians, such as kanafi, baklava, and anise flavored cookies. Family-run shops often serve at least one type of sweet that they themselves created. The city of Nablus in particular are world-famous for their exquisite Arabic sweets, and have some of the oldest sweet shops in Palestine. Soft drinks are also common in Palestinian homes and the city of Ramallah contains a Coca-Cola and Fago bottling plant, while Gaza, Hebron, and Nablus have distribution centers. A Pepsi-Cola plant in Gaza was shut down in 2007. Homemade fruit juices are also a common household drink during warm days and during Ramadan, the holy month for fasting by Muslims. In the Palestinian culture, coffee and tea is traditionally served to adults during a visit or gathering, while juice is served to everyone. Drinks such as Tamar Hind or Kamar Deen are served during special occasions to everyone. Tamar Hind, originally from Africa is a licorice drink made by soaking or infusing licorice sticks, and adding lemon juice. Kamardine is traditionally served to break the Ramadan fast, and is an iced drink made from a dry sheet of apricots soaked in water, and mixed with lemon juice or syrup. Rose or mint water is a drink commonly added to Palestinian sweets and dishes. However, it is also a popular drink on its own, and is seen as refreshing in the heated summers. Herbs such as sage can also be boiled with water to create a drink that is sometimes used for medicinal purposes. A warm drink made from sweetened milk with salop garnished with walnuts, coconut flakes and cinnamon, is known as salab and is primarily served during the winter season. Two hot beverages that Palestinians consume is coffee served in the morning and throughout the day and tea which is often sipped in the evening. Tea is usually flavored with Nana or Marami yet. 
The coffee of choice is usually Turkish or Arabic coffee. Arabic coffee is similar to Turkish coffee, but the former is spiced with cardamom and is usually unsweetened. Among Bedouins and most other Arabs throughout the region of Palestine, bitter coffee, known as kawa seda, was a symbol of hospitality. Pouring the drink was ceremonial, it would involve the host or his eldest son moving clockwise among guests who were judged by age and status pouring coffee into tiny cups from a brass pot. It was considered polite for guests to accept only three cups of coffee and then end their last cup by saying Damon, meaning always, but intending to mean may you always have the means to serve coffee. A widely consumed liquor among Palestinian Christians, non-religious Palestinians, and many non-observant Muslims is Iraq. Iraq is a clear anise-flavored alcoholic drink that is mixed with water to soften it and give it a creamy white color. It is consumed during special occasions such as holidays, weddings, and gatherings or with the mezzi. Beer is also a consumed drink and the Palestinian town of Taba in the central West Bank contains one of the few breweries in Palestine. In addition to regular beer, the brewery produces non-alcoholic beer for observant Muslims. The nearby town of Berzite is also home to Shepherd's Brewery. There is a sharp difference of Palestinian courses eaten on a daily basis in comparison to those reserved for holidays which include family and religious occasions for both Muslims and Christians. In the past, during the fasting month of Ramadan, the Musahur of a town would yell and beat his drum to wake up the town's residents for suhur usually very early in the morning, ranging from 4 to 6 a.m. The meals eaten during this time are light and foods include labana, cheese, bread, and fried or boiled eggs along with various liquids to drink. The Muezzin's call to dawn prayers signaled the beginning of psalm or fasting. Breaking the day's fasting traditionally begins with the brief consumption of dates and a chilled beverage. Palestinians make a variety of fruit-based beverages, including the flavors, Tamar Hindi or Tamarind, Su or Licorice, Karub or Carob and Kamar Edine. Tamar Hindi is made by soaking tamarinds in water for many hours, then straining, sweetening and mixing it with rose water and lemon juice. Karub is made similarly except instead of tamarind, Carob is used. Kamar Edine is made of dried apricots boiled into a liquid and chilled. The term iftar has a different meaning in Ramadan where it is used to describe the breaking of fasting unlike its common meaning of breakfast in the morning. Iftar begins with soup, either made from lentils, vegetables, or frike. Sherbet frike is made from cracked, green wheat cooked in chicken broth. There is a wide variety of meals served during iftar ranging from small plates or bowls vegetable-based courses or sani yes of a particular meat. Common small dishes on the dinner table are bamiya a name for okra in tomato paste, mlukiya a korshora stew or makalai, an array of fried tomatoes, aubergines, potatoes, peppers and zucchini. Pilaf or plain frike are normally served alongside the dinner meat. Each household prepares extra food to provide for their neighbors and the less fortunate who must receive an equal version of the food eaten at home. A common Palestinian dessert reserved only for Ramadan is kataf, which could be provided by the numerous street vendors in several major Palestinian cities or towns as well as typical Palestinian households. Kataf is the general name of the dessert as a whole but more specifically, the name of the batter that acts as a base. The result of the batter being poured into a round hot plate appears similar to pancakes, except only one side is cooked, then folded. The pastry is filled with either unsalted goat cheese or ground walnuts and cinnamon.
It is then baked and served with a hot sugar water syrup or sometimes honey. Kaike by Aja is a semolina shortbread pastry filled with ground dates called ajwe or walnuts. The dessert is a traditional meal for Christians during Easter, however, Kaike by Aja is also prepared towards the end of Ramadan, to be eaten during Eid al Fitr Muslim festival immediately following Ramadan as well as during Eid al-Adha. During Maulid the holiday honoring the birth of the Islamic prophet Muhammad Zalabai which consists of small, crunchy deep-fried dough balls and dipped in syrup, is served. The dough is made from flour, yeast, and water. A special pudding called Megli is prepared for a newborn child, to celebrate new life. The dessert is made of ground rice, sugar, and a mixture of spices, garnished with almonds, pine nuts, and walnuts. Megli is commonly made by Christian Palestinians during Christmas to celebrate the birth of the baby Jesus. An infant's new tooth is celebrated with bowls of sweetened wheat or barley and sweets served after a child's circumcision include baklava and burma. Christian families in mourning serve a sweet bun known as ramet. It is a food eaten in remembrance of the dead and as a gesture of blessing the soul of the deceased person. The Greek Orthodox Church offer a special tray with cooked wheat covered with sugar and candy after a memorial service. <laughs>